three little words for you to begin with. Health and safety. Isn't um, that going to scupper it? Of course there's an issue about safety, uh, and one needs to be very careful about those things. But actually, the peop children will be endangered by bad driving, not by picking up litter in a, in a yellow tabard uh, with well-organised teachers mm. on lanes or, or streets, wherever it may be. I'm not, suggest I'm not suggesting they do the M1, but, you know... <laughs> um, you know this this okay, is an so this, idea. There's, there's the health and safety issue of the roads, mm. but there is also the health and safety issue of the litter, some might say. I mean... You know, if you're near a local park and you come across a whole load of yeah, stuff I, that, you know, you Susanna, don't even want your children to Susanna, see... you're absolutely right. But I think a little bit of sort of common sense can be used here. That you don't want children going around picking up uh, needles in, in, yeah, a, in a park where they, may, where they may be endangered. But, but that's why we have teachers and to teach them. But my point is this. We are currently being subjected to a tsunami, a tidal wave of litter. Our towns, our cities, our countryside is just disgusting yeah. and we need to do something. This may not be the best idea, but let's do something radical. I mean, and it's, it teaches children, as, as that a little girl at the end is saying, you know, it teaches them that it's an important thing to do, yes. responsible yes. civic duty. Also, it would encourage parents, perhaps. Yes, I mean, look, I... You know, none of us want our streets strewn with litter. It's unpleasant, and the more that's there, it seems to attract even more. But what is the answer to this? And I don't believe that it's putting litter picking um, on the curriculum. I don't think it's a great way for our kids to spend their school time. Mm. Um, gets them out in the fresh air. It does get them out in the fresh air, but picking up syringes, perhaps, in the park or Well, or he's worse. covered that. He's, he's, he's said yes, that... Yes, but I don't, I don't think that, with respect, that that is possible. You've got 30 mm. kids, say, walking around with their litter-picking sticks. Who is going to keep an eye? What check... Is the teacher going to go around checking the litter beforehand? What do you do, Lord Robertson, no when you see objects? someone littering? Cause well, I, I've, I've, I've had a few interesting yeah. discussions in the past where something's come out of a car, I've st that, pulled I, up behind them at a tra traffic lights, given the thing back in the car and been pursued in the middle of the night by a couple of drivers. But I'm not suggesting people even confront people. What I'm saying is that we need to do something radical because our countryside, our towns are disgusting. Mm -hmm. And that, I suggest, is we educate young people who will then, in the long term, might be sufficiently responsible not to throw litter and they would also so educate their parents and their siblings. So basically he's saying there's a double payoff here. We, we, we clean up the streets, we clean up the parks in the here and now mm -hmm. and in the, in the next generation mm -hmm. we have kids who wouldn't dream of dropping litter because they've been trained to pick it up. I mean it's a, it's a lovely idea when you put it like that but the problem is our, Thank you. our, <laughs> yes, um, our children's um, school curriculum is really, really crammed I'm talking as about it two is. Two hours, two so. hours in one year, and frankly. Oh, two um, hours a year rather than a week? No, two hours, it, two, two hours mm -hmm. one afternoon mm. in one year, the year yeah. uh, six or even in later year seven, one hour. A, a, one afternoon where they could do this, mm. I think they probably quite enjoy it. Children, I've done my children, they do quite enjoy it. That's all right, it. isn't it? Yeah, yeah actually, you know, if it's an hour a year, I can live with that. But what <laughs> I can't live with is the idea that it's a major part of the curriculum. Oh, no. When I'd rather kids were doing things like yeah. personal finance, first aid, learning about diet and nutrition more than they do, because they do cover mm. these things in some schools yeah. a bit. But this is than, more um, some might say, actually, this is the job of local councils, and if there weren't well, the know... cuts in local councils, you wouldn't have so much. Susanna, Susanna, long before they started having cuts in local councils and under the coalition government, which I suspect is what somebody's suggesting, there was litter. Now, local councils can't clear up the litter in the lanes where I live in Leicestershire. There's too, ma too many miles of it. Mm -hmm. So we need to educate people so that tackle this at cause at the, at the, the, the start. Is the more litter is left behind by cash-strapped councils, the more people feel uh, that, they That can is litter. to a certain extent true, that's, but that's why we must stop people at the mm. source throwing litter mm. and, then, and then clear it up where, where there is some litter. Can there I always go back happen. to your incident at the traffic lights? Because yes. I've, I, I've been there, you know, we all have been there behind a car which seems to think that a traffic light is a perfect mm. litter bin. Suddenly something goes out of the driver window. It's enraging. Mm. But to actually confront a driver, what then well, happened? Well, I was, I was younger then, and so I drove to the nearest police station, and the, the car, on, the so car you, followed me for yeah. about three miles. I was with my fiancée then at the time, it was 25 yeah. years ago. <laughs> uh, the car drove, followed me for about three miles, and she was in a bit of a panic, but we got to the nearest police station in Fulham, and it drove off. Interesting, because the police station was actually closed at 11 o'clock at night, <laughs> no, and that was neither here nor there. Right. You're, you're not a psychiatrist, but you've obviously done a lot of thinking about this. I can't get into the headset of somebody who throws litter out of a car or walks down a street eating a sandwich and then just drops the, 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 the wrapper on the, on the pavement. I just don't understand what's going on in their heads. Do you? What, what's, well, what's there? this is my point, really. There has to be education. I suggest we start education at schools. We start young people, when they're still 
relatively pliable at the age of 10 or 11. We start them so that they actually pick up litter and they realise that they shouldn't throw litter. They will infect, God willing, they will explain this to their families, yeah. their siblings, their grandparents, whomsoever it may be. And in the long term, I think this might have a really good impact. It sounds like you might have been persuaded over the course yeah. of this conversation. Two hours, fine. More than that, not fine. Yeah.